Yes, this is a full program what we have seen in that slide. Unordered array implementation. Now I have here the size uh, given as 20. So already I have explained all these codings. So now we will see how it exists. Here we have given uh, in the main program, uh, we have declared an object obj1, which is of type array. It is nothing but already we have declared that as a class, class array. So here uh, we have declared some local variables, choice, index, and element, etc. Now obj1.get array will get the value. So this will be executed. Now you will enter the line and then the value inside. Then now inside the loop, that is do loop, we have given the uh, like a menu we have written. First, uh, when you press one, it will traverse the value, whatever is stored in that. Then middle, insert middle. So here, it will in if you go to the case two, it will get the index and value. You have to get the values, and that those values will be passed to these functions. And then store the value again. Here you give the index and value, and you call the store function. Same way, retrieve. Uh, you give the index and it returns the values which is stored in the particular index. So, this return index is stored in this ELE, this variable. So, uh, here it is return type is an integer which returns the index. And deletion. Here again we get the index and then we pass it on. So, it will return the deleted value. So, here we get the value, uh, we get the index and its deleted value. And then the enter the value to be searched. Here we get the value which we are going to search and we pass it, uh, pass it on to the search function. And the value returned, the index of that value is returned and it is stored here again in this local variable which is displayed. So while choice is 7, till it will be, it keep on till choice is 7, where choice is 7 is nothing but quit. Now we'll see the execution of this program. I'm using Genie. Uh, now we yeah. have compiled. Yes, compilation print successfully it has come. And now we are going to execute this. Yes. Now let me write some seven elements. So now it is asking for values. Okay. All the values are seven values I have entered. Now I would like to traverse whatever I have data I have. Put. See, it is printing all the values. Now we are going to insert in the middle. Let me execute the second option. Now it is asking for index and value where I want to insert. Let me see. This is zero index. Zero, one, two. Now I want to insert it in the third position. So let me give three and then the value 35. Now, we will, I would like to know whether it has inserted properly. So let me see again, press 1, traverse. Now see here. I have inserted in the third 0, 1, 2, 3, third position, the 35. So others are pushed to, to a right. Now, I want to store the value, which means existing value I want to override. Let me consider in the fourth place, 40. This is the fourth index. Actually, this is not fourth place, this is the fifth place, but we have to say it as a fourth place because index starts from zero. So, in the position uh, fourth place, I want to um, show some other value. Say, for example, fourth place, choice is three, and the index is four, and I would like to replace it with 45. Now, again, I put trust travels to see whether it has been say here. It has been replaced. Now I would like to retrieve an element so which is present in the fourth place. Let me say four. See here, at fourth place, the element present is 45. Then I wanted to delete, let me say, fifth element that is choice is five. And let me say, I want to delete the fourth place index. I'm giving index now again. I traverse. You can see the 45, 45 is and all the values are moved towards left. Now search. I want to search for an element. So whether that element is present in there. 
Now, let me give 35. Yes, it is at the position 3. Now, let me let me give again. I let search and let me give which is the element which is not the 80. Now it is minus 1. That is the element is not present. So it gives return the value minus 1. Such returns minus 7. Which means which is not present. So let me close the uh, program. Return, press return to continue. 